Hey friends, Jackie here from Interact, and today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to create a marketing quiz. Let's go. The first thing that you're going to want to do is figure out your quiz topic or title. So use the ChatGPT prompt, and then this is what the output will look like. It will give you a sample of 10 different quiz titles that you can use. You can resubmit the prompt to get new ideas, or maybe the ideas on this list give you an idea to come up with on your own, right? So can you change the language of one, finesse one a little bit, or maybe it even gives you a totally different idea of what to create your quiz topic about. For this quiz, I decided to go with what type of quiz, web, sorry, quiz, what type of website design are you? But I changed the title up a little bit to which type of website design is best for your business. Just reads a little bit better and aligns with the purpose of this quiz to figure out what type of website you should create for your business. Now, the next thing I did was added a prompt to figure out which uh, results or outcomes I'm going to point people to when they take the quiz. You can either create the results on your own or you can have ChatGPT create them for you. That's what I did. So what it gave me was option one is a minimalist design or site. The next one is something that's bold and vibrant. And the third outcome is a website that's classic and timeless. Now, you know your business business best, right? And so if you know what types of websites you create um, or which types of websites your different clients would want to create, then feel free to just go ahead and write out a paragraph or two explaining the different types of, of websites that you provide people. You can give that to ChatGPT to write your questions on, or like I did, you can use the outcomes that ChatGPT gave you, which in this case is a minimalist, a bold and vibrant, or a classic and timeless design for your site. All right, next prompt is to ask the questions. So here you can see the first question is, how do you describe your brand's personality? There are three different answers someone can choose from, A, B, or C. And then ChatGPT is also telling me which answer aligns to which outcome, which is going to come in handy when you build your quiz in Interact and set up the logic. What this will do is as people are answering your questions throughout the quiz, the system, Interact, in the back end will just keep tally of what they're saying so that the right outcome or the right result is presented to them at the end. For example, if they're looking for a site that's clean and simple, you want them to get the minimalist design result and not the bold and vibrant design result. In this specific example, or this specific quiz rather that I came up with, um, it the questions weren't great. And sometimes this happens, so feel free to just resubmit the prompt and it will give you new questions. Um, I did that in this case. But what I mean is the question number two is what color schemes you prefer your website? That's a fine question. But if you look at the answers, it's saying neutral and minimal goes to minimalist, obviously, right? Bright and eye-catching, bold and vibrant. It, it just seemed like the result was the answer. And so if someone were taking this quiz, look at the next question. What type of imagery do you want to use? Minimal. But you've already said your color scheme is minimal. That would make for a very boring quiz. And so I was able to, if I just scroll down here, resubmit the prompt and I got Oops, I scrolled too far. Uh, I got five more questions that I can use. Now, some of them you see here which adjective best describes your brand, minimalistic, minimal, timeless, classic and timeless result. Um, so what I'm going to do is use a combination of the two different outputs that I got for the five best questions. So I won't be using this question and answer. Um, and where was the other one before? The color scheme question. I just won't use that. Um, you could also, because you're an expert in this field, change the answers to something that you know somebody needing a minimalist design site would say. So maybe that's, I don't know, tans and neutral colors rather than adding in the word minimal there. You can absolutely exercise your own creative energy when you're creating quizzes using chat GPT or really probably, definitely, when you're creating any content through ChatGPT, you can absolutely exercise, exercise your creative muscle and add your own spin on the content that it's giving back to you. So feel free to do that if and when you need. After you get your questions and answers, the next prompt you are going to ask uh, AI to write you a heading for the opt-in form and then a subheading. So getting somebody excited to want to subscribe to your list once they've taken the quiz. And then the final 
um, prompt will give you a description, a quiz description, which will go on your quiz cover. Looking this at this at first glance, this one is a little long. So again, I can use my own energy, my own information, knowledge, expertise on writing the right title that I would want, or sorry, the right description that I would want to give this quiz. Um, in this case, probably I'll just go with something like take this engaging quiz to help to uncover your ideal website design style. That's simple enough and it's very clear and concise and to the point as to why somebody would want to take this quiz. So this is what your quiz will look like when you build it in your Interact account. Your lead or your customers will be able to click on take quiz and then they answer the questions that you created in your quiz. Then they'll see this opt-in form, which is where they can subscribe. And when you integrate this with your email marketing platform, so your inter connect your Interact account with your email system, all of the emails that subscribe here will go directly to your email marketing platform, where you can then send out automated emails or messaging to them. Once they subscribe, then they are taken to the quiz result page. So it tells them the website style that they should be using, what that means, and maybe you can even provide a next step that you would want them to take in order to get started. And that is how you can create a marketing quiz for your business. If you need any help getting started, head over to ai.tryinteract.com and we will build the quiz for you, whether you have ideas on what to make the quiz about or not.